All right, welcome back to Taco Tours. We are in the 209. Am I just pointing at my oh. head? Send them taco pics. <laughs> send them. Send them our way. Yes, yeah, my first time in the 209. 209, man. Yeah, what's the reputation of Modesto? Modesto is known for food truck culture. Oh. They have a lot of food trucks out here. A lot of Mexicans too, right? A lot of my raza, a lot of my people yeah, out here. Mi gente. Mi gente. Oh, man. Uh, and on the way here, also a lot of almond fields. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah, Blue Diamond. Blue, Blue Diamond take over out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you know where the almonds actually are in those cheese, we'd be interested to know. <laughs> Comment down below. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put a clip here of what <laughs> yeah. those things look like. Yeah. Or whatever. We have a pretty exciting episode. I think uh, we found some, some, I found some good spots. <laughs> and shout out to Izzy because uh, he actually recommended one of these places. I forget okay. if it's this one or a different I mean, one. You, know, you never know when it comes to reviews and recommendations, yeah. right? So you don't know oh. what people think are good. Yeah, he recommended this one actually. He said this, and this one's like five stars in mail too, by the way. But they sell bar barbecue. Five barbecue stars, tests. we'll put that to the test. Exactly. Yeah, the let's pros see. are in town now. Let's see, see what happens. <laughs> so let's get going, let's get started. Let's, let's do it in today's hungry. episode, if you can't see, is sponsored by Levi's. Levi's. I show them your pants yep. too. Yeah. Oh, you can see ah, Oh, can't, he's crippled, but there you go. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's straight Levi's. out of Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, let's get going. First location, we're at Trejo. Oh no, wait. Carnitas El Bajio. Carni I don't know why I was thinking Trejos mm -hmm. for some reason. Carnitas El Bajio. Bajio. Ba what is Bajio? Mean? I think it's Bajio. Uh, forgive me if I'm saying it's wrong, but that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Bajio. Ah, you know what? It could be a last name. I'm not sure. But Baj Bajio might, might also be an instrument if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, I'll have to check on Google when I get home. Because I know in Portuguese is Bahia. Bah it's kind of like like neighborhood. Bahia. Yeah. Because mm. I used to do a lot of capoeira, folks. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, so, but, but Portuguese is obviously a very different language. Yeah. But they're related, aren't they? Portuguese and Spanish. Sure, we're There's all related somehow. Some words that are interchange. I yeah, mean. we're all related somehow. Mm. So this location is very interesting because you don't really see you don't really see the location right away like you pass by there's a one-stop gas station gas station you know and you're like okay where is this place at so you it's in the back like you really have to look in the back yeah. over here there's outside seating I almost passed it up yeah he almost passed it to up pull up my Vin, Di Vin Diesel skills fast and furious <laughs> my Prius exactly. <laughs> so anyways <laughs> look for the one stop if you're looking for this place what's interesting is they serve tri-tip Tri well. exactly. yeah you don't really uh, see that at taquerias yeah so yeah, they got the smoker out here at yeah. the gas station exactly i'm sure that's really safe you know, have a smoker <laughs> right by the gas pumps yeah, what could possibly go wrong i'm not yeah. saying anything, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah there's they sell barbecue stuff and that they, they, they do the taco tuesday we saw the quesabirias in and there. monday as well monday monday yeah. tuesday yeah and monday tuesday so, one dollar tacos yeah that's pretty cool What's interesting is they they recommended only their carnitas. Yeah. I was expecting them to recommend a tri-tip taco as well, but because yep. I've never seen that. Yep. But just carnitas. Yeah, really interesting. So the last place, Antioch, we got one where they just recommended only carne asada. Mm -hmm. And now we got one where they only recommend the carnitas. It's yeah. The first. Yeah, it's interesting. So right away, um, double white corn tortillas. You have your carnitas with the... Uh, a little bit of cuerito, cuerito mm. some buche, 
Remember what was what was buche? Yeah, pig throat. Was it? Buche. Then I know we got it wrong that one time. What was it? Throat or something else? I, like, I think it was something else. Was it stomach? I think you might have. I think it was stomach. Remember? Mm, love me some buche. Because we were saying throw, and then someone's like, "No, that's not buche." And then I looked it up. Oh shit, it's not. Oh, yeah, there's no extra. There's no additional salsa though. Yeah. They just put a little, like a little dash of salsa on yeah. the tacos. But and they we, must be that confident in these things. <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, that's all you need. Sam did ask before we left. I did. I was like, uh, salsa and everything. You know, yeah, it's all in there. Okay. So. <laughs> Presentation is kind of funny, like this. Uh, <laughs> what is this again? A radish. A radish. I keep forgetting. It looks like they hit it a few times with the knife, but it didn't. Cut but I think yours. Like, I don't know if you got the bad one because look how like nice this one. Yeah, is. that one. Well, this one too. This, this one. Nice. Yeah, it's like nice and thinly yeah. sliced. And they gave me a. I don't know. This pepper looks funny. Like, looks like it's been out for a minute. And they say their tortillas are like handmade. Right? Yeah. At least that's, that's what it says on the outside. That's what it said on the outside, but I don't know if they're doesn't, really handmade. Yeah, it doesn't really look or feel so handmade to me. Maybe it's not for all the items. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. And they also had some grilled onions on the side. Yeah, let's so, do it. Let's see if it'll blow us away. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. It's a good taco, folks. Oh. That's exactly what I was expecting when I saw it. Soft and juicy. That is really <clears throat> nice. Soft and succulent. Damn. Really juicy. It's that buche, man. Really. It's interesting. With buche, it still qualifies as carnitas because it's pork. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's what I mean by a good carnitas taco. I don't know why a lot of carnita places don't do this, but... They're mixing in all these parts that give you that succulent, tasty, savory, everything in one bite. Because there's times that carnitas, they only <laughs> do like the drier parts of the pork. Yeah. And it's not that juicy. So this is this is a good combination. I like me some juicy pork. Mm-hmm. Who's gonna give it a four? Mm -hmm. Four out of five. This pepper is like hella cold. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kind of weird. Mine's not. <laughs> Mine's actually, it's warm. Well, yeah, it's not hot, I guess. This guy just likes his food really hot. I folks. love it really hot. <laughs> you know what? These are the perfect size too, you know, that we like. Perfect mm. size. It's only got cilantro, onions, mm -hmm. salsa. That's always a good sign. Like I said, you know, you don't see a bunch of lettuce and tomato on it. That's a bad sign. Oh yeah. They didn't give us any salt packets. <laughs> to add, to add I mean, to, to be honest food. though, it could use a little more salt. A little, you know? yeah. That's why to me it's a four. It's, yeah. it's not a five, but yeah. it's definitely a four. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would come back if I lived here. <laughs> I'm not going to drive all the way out to Modesto from Haven just for these. <laughs> but if I live here, I would definitely be coming back. That is delicious though. I mean, you think about it. It's 9 30 in the morning and there was a good six seven people already in there mm -hmm. getting their tacos yeah you guys get up early to eat some carnitas hmm very good ah, interesting i'm, I'm kind of interested to try their tri tip now <laughs> just because it you know they're selling it with mm -hmm. carnitas i don't know it's pretty interesting now you want to go back in there and just order it <laughs> Nah, maybe if we have space at the end of it, <laughs> we'll see. But that's pretty interesting. Because who knows when we'll be out here again, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's see. The end. Yeah, let's see. But well, a good start. Not bad. I like. The I like a good start like this. The tortillas, like this, their tortillas don't feel like they're handmade to me. They're on the soft side, but they are holding up. They're yeah. not falling apart. Mm -hmm. I think that also has to do a lot with the way they prepare they prepare the tortillas, right? Like. Did they toast them? Did they add the oil? Like, all of those are factors. And, like good tortillas, even if you don't add any of those things, they'll hold up really well, you know? But some of them like just crumble when it's like yeah. oily or whatnot. It's like, you know, that's not a good tortilla then. So wouldn't you give this a four out of five as well? <sighs> Come on, it's definitely better than a three. Yeah, not for sure. I'll get a four out of five. <laughs> I just, 
I just know this place that you're gonna love that I think it's definitely a five. Mm. But yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. Alrighty. I need to sell Bahio. Thanks Bahio. for the hookup. Thanks thank for you. the delicious and carnitas. Yep, tacos. We didn't pay a dime, so thank you very much. Mm. Alright. I'm glad we had something good to say. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Right, we're at location number two. We have a story for this place. So. <laughs> oh, you're gonna tell it. <laughs> you know it better. The odor is just a straight up. <laughs> oh my god! So I was out there doing our usual thing. You know, once Sam starts talking to the people, yeah. that's when I start recording with the DJ Awesome. I was getting the establishing shot, just yeah. getting video of the truck. Yeah. And this woman comes out of the truck and asks me not to film her i don't right? think she asked you she told she you. said don't film me yeah and I, then i wasn't right so i was filming there was two trucks yeah. so i was filming the other truck where sam was at and this woman was in another truck <laughs> and then she comes out screaming at me like a minute later <laughs> i told you not to film and, and, and i was like i was like i'm not filming you and apparently both of her both of the trucks were her truck. Yeah, they're both. I was like, oops, okay, I'm sorry. But man, she the way she went about yeah, it, just, she was just uh, a straight up. <laughs> so these tacos better be damn good, because if these aren't good, oh my god, then you're just a horrible business person. <laughs> I wish we got it a camera, it would have been great. Because I went right back at her. <laughs> and this is the first time that's ever happened, right? I, we never really got no one yelling at us like Yeah, it's just it's so interesting. Like what are you like what's what's the paranoia there? What is the fear? What yeah. do you think is gonna happen from someone taking a video of your taco truck? Yeah. Well, is someone gonna steal? What? That's how you make tacos? <laughs> you use tortillas and the meat in the middle. Of, the, the secret. Out. The secret ingredients of tacos. <laughs> what is? What do you? What do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, like, it's, it's it's. I don't know. I not. I told you this before, but I don't know why. Like our people are just so like paranoid for some reason. Like I don't know why. It's like what. We were doing this for us, for our review, for to tell you guys what we think of the place. And yeah, we're not undercover immigration <laughs> yeah. officers yeah. scoping out taco trucks trying to get, <laughs> to get people. But it's, yeah. it's like, you know, there's a way to go about it, right? We've yeah. been asked not to film before. Yeah. And then that's fine. And yeah. we respect that. We respect it, yeah. But you, just to be a complete yeah. about it. Yeah. Oh my, this woman was a big time yeah it's yeah. not the way to conduct the business so <laughs> anyway i hope your tacos are good <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see so, so we got the asada with the handmade tortillas the thing with this that she was telling me that the regular taco is like about a dollar mm -hmm. and this but it's not handmade tortillas so uh -huh. the upgrade is like I, don't know, I think it was like 75 cents or whatever. Yeah, handmade tortillas always And I was like, come difference. on, this is a no-brainer. Yeah. We have to get handmade yeah. tortillas. So it's a one tortilla, and then we got the quesabilla, which looks nice and crispy with the cheese and everything. Yeah, this and one we also feels got uh, really crispy, actually, just by touching it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. What's interesting about the carne asada, if you look at it, it just looks like ground beef. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look like steak at all. Yeah. This is, I don't know, like this look, it's kind of associated with with the meat that's reheated mm, i don't know if you yeah, noticed yeah, that yeah, but yeah, it yeah. always has this kind of look i guess we shall see what do you want i guess in other words i should say that this meat has been processed more than the original stuff i don't know, you know? it's probably not fresh well you, you know what i mean maybe it was cooked in the morning and now it's just been reheated. yeah because when you remember when we did salsa you could tell the big chunks of yeah, like, it yeah. looks like you literally just cut it from the yeah. cow and you, so yeah. what should we eat first here? The, Just asada. Yeah? Because mine's on top of it already. Okay. It has the charred uh, uh, onions, the serrano, and that's it. Pretty, pretty center. And the salsa. Yeah, it's okay. So I'll say a three out of five for me. What do you think? The salsa's got some kick to it, but flavor-wise, in terms of the the taco itself, it's not really much there. Yeah, honestly, the meat is lacking quality. Therefore, it, I can't even give it a four. The tortilla is obviously delicious, mm -hmm. handmade. But well, this is this is where these things don't go together. Like, why do you want to put a high-quality tortilla and then the low-quality protein? That's where it doesn't make sense. To yeah, me. the meat is definitely lower quality. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's not, 
I mean, this is uh, like a perfect representation of what a three taco is. Mm -hmm. It's not horrible, uh, but you know, you want to seek it out. You mm -hmm. want to eat if someone gave it to you. Mm -hmm. But other than the handmade tortilla, it doesn't really have anything going for it. Because honestly, if it didn't have that tortilla, I'd probably go as low as a two, mm -hmm. you know? It was not, not the best quality meat. It's that meat that you see when they're reheating everything. It is, honestly, it is ground beef. Really? Yeah. Well, whatever it is, is not steak the way, the way that we're yeah, yeah. accustomed to eating. Alrighty, on to the quesadilla. <laughs> we got our consomme. All right, we got our tea. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, and she did ask me if we wanted to prepare it. I was like, of course. So yeah, I appreciate that. Got it. Yeah, they added all the condiments already. Yeah, you know how I feel about having to add your own <laughs> ingredients to the consomme. <laughs> yeah. We'll sip first. Not much flavor, honestly. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's, it's really hot, but not too much flavor going on. Yeah, you're right. Damn. It's like surprisingly bland. Yeah. You think that, that wouldn't be the case because of like the coloring and everything? Yeah. Wow. It's almost like they got lazy. They're like, ah, just don't worry about these ingredients. <laughs> just heat it up. <laughs> is it something you had to pay extra for? Or is it included with the Siberia? I think it was extra. Because it was $18 total. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna have to pay extra for the consomme, that's gotta have some flavor at the very least. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not, it's probably the least delicious one that I've tried. Yeah, in terms of consomme. Mm -hmm. But let's try the birria taco itself. Are you gonna kill this consomme? Probably not, huh? We'll see. <laughs> and because it has no flavor. <laughs> I don't think even you would kill it. <laughs> All right, quesadilla, vamos. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy with cheese. Oh, you and the birria's <laughs> bland. Which is surprising, we, we haven't run into that. Your wishes came true today. <laughs> yeah. It's not that great. <laughs> I don't know how it manages to have almost no flavor. And it has yellow cheese. <laughs> yeah, right? And it's fried and you got the consomme in. Yeah, it's... Honestly, this I would give it to. Yeah, this is so crazy. You know, like mm. like you said, it has all these elements. The yeah. crunch, the, yeah. the beef, the cheese. I'm like... How are you missing the yeah, flavor here? That's why I have to I give this a two. Because like I don't understand how you could be missing flavor in a birria taco like this. That is so strange, man. So this would have to be a two. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> one three taco, one two taco. <laughs> one business owner is a complete <laughs> Do not go to this spot. <laughs> there are definitely better spots here in <laughs> Modesto that deserve your business. Well, that, that has to say a lot, right? It matches the, the way that she was handling her business. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You never know. I, no. I think people can be like that and still mm. have good products. Mm. Let's see if the consomme helps a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Right? Really disappointing. Surprising. Because wow. we've yet to really be disappointed by a video talk. Let me see if the pepper helps. <laughs> oh, that has flavor. Let's try the pepper. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve behaving like that. <laughs> and your food's not even that good. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why she didn't want us filming. She knows it's not that good. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that is why. Like, damn, you're gonna tell the whole world now. <laughs> it's still because the taco trucks themselves actually look really nice. You know? mm -hmm. And it's two. You know, two of the same. Damn, that sucks. Well, it had to happen one day, right? We're gonna come across a bad quesadilla. And it happened in Modesto. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that though. I mean, cause like I said, Modesto has so much cultura, so much taco truck culture. There's a lot of- Yeah, but not everyone can be winners, man. I know. The tacos aren't horrible. 
I don't know, man. They have no flavor. It's, it's not like, Watsonville, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's not Watsonville. Watsonville. That was the worst. That's a different level. That last spot. Yeah. Oh my god. That's what, like a one or two, maybe? That's a one. <laughs> that is a legitimate one. <laughs> Damn, I wanna like you. <laughs> I don't. I wanna like you, consume. <laughs> I don't wanna like you. But I'll be honest, if it's good, you know what I said it's good. But you see, this guy agrees with me with me too. Mm -hmm. So it's not me just hating on this woman. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just hope that last one is picks up the slack. <laughs> well, the next spot's five stars, right? Mm -hmm. See, but we put five stars to uh, shame before. Uh... <laughs> oh well. well let's see. I'm what... optimistic. <laughs> let's see what the third place got. <laughs> got to offer. Era a cruzar, cruzarlos. Persínate, papá. The crucifix. Yeah, persínate. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, shout out to Janae. Thanks for the great customer service. Thank you, Janae. Shout out to your awesome Marilyn Monroe sweater. <laughs> yep, shout out to good customer yeah, service. It's always nice when people are nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, this is a nice looking plate. Yeah, we're here yeah. at El Rey. El Rey. El Rey. Del taco. Y sigo siendo is it, el Rey. Or is it just El Rey Taco? El taco es el rey, I think, or... I think it's el rey taco. Oh, no, no, el, el taco, el rey del taco, there you go. Yeah, el yeah. rey del taco, that's what The king is. of tacos. The king of tacos. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see if that five-star rating on Yelp yeah. is a legit five-star. Yeah. You know it's legit when we say it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when a Filipino in a Mexican city. <laughs> Notarized by uh, <laughs> Vida <Eats. laughs> So, right away, got the grilled onions. I love that stuff. We got the pickled uh, carrots, the so, radish. Yeah. Instead of limes, we have lemons. It's like the the pickled double, double jalapeno. Tortilla. Tea. Double, it's like it's a little charred little, too. Little little toasted. Yeah, a little toasted. The salsa looks really nice. Carne asada, and you think it's got, cabeza, right? Yeah, I believe it's cabeza. Forgive me if it's not, but I'm pretty sure it's cabeza. What's interesting is they gave us lemon instead of yeah. lime. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that. Okay, maybe they're trying to I switch mean, it's it up. like a different, same, you know, slight, same, slight, similar, slight difference. Slight but difference, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Never seen it. I like that they added the the pickled jalapeno. That's something I grew up eating, so mm. it's a nice touch. And I'm gonna go for it. We, we gotta do cabeza yeah, first, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. It's cabeza been, and carne asada, it's right? Been a minute. Yep. The carne asada again. It looks like ground beef. Yeah, we get that a lot. A lot of these uh, places. But hey, the taste Let's is see. something else, right? quality yeah. let's see all right here we go cabeza looks like a nice size taco it's like the size we like pretty good size oh it just not that much flavor you agree yeah i feel like something's missing <laughs> i think they forgot to put salt in it <laughs> Because the, the potential's there with the the TTA's got a little bit of you know crunch to it, and then the cabeza is nice and soft and juicy as it should be. But there's just not any flavor to it. I feel like everything is pretty much on point except that there's no flavor on yeah, the meat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. <laughs> it's like damn, it's almost there. The quality itself uh, is good. Yeah. There's just no flavor. That's so interesting. Yeah, so this is a definite three. <laughs> I can't give it a two because everything else is on point. Mm. 
I'd say three and a half for me. But that's just the cabeza. Let's let's see that salad right now. Gotta get some of those put pickled carrots. Mmm. Cleanse the palate a little bit. Mmm. Cleanse the palate from the zero flavor that's in there. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yes, Mike. <laughs> Okay. All right. Here we go, salad. Have a nice salad. Vamos. Yeah, there's a healthy um, serving of salsa in each of these tacos. Mm -hmm. The tortillas are holding up really well. Tortillas are legit. Hmm. I like this one. Yeah, this one's got some flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It really starts sticking in too. Yeah. Now that one's a really tasty one. Yeah, this one's good. I like it that it's like wet with that salsa. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I just like that texture. And this is a definite four out of five. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, salad would probably be the thing you want to order, order here. Yeah. Uh, the toitos are nice and warm still. It's too bad I haven't had a cabeza in quite a while. Mmm, like a good one, huh? Cabeza taco. Yeah. I love that stuff. And usually just are packed with flavor, huh? Oh. But then, uh, carne asada. I like it. Mikey, likey. Like I said, cabeza's a three. Mm -hmm. Carne asada's a four. Janae, you're a five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, favorite spot would probably have to be this place. Mm, yeah. Because the parking lot's nice and wide and open. Mm -hmm. The taco truck, this is probably the nicest taco truck we've ever seen. Yeah. Honestly. Super clean. Super clean. Looks like it's brand new. And if you just <laughs> ordered the carne asada, you're, you're doing good. And you know, with the good <clears throat> customer service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From cool Jade there. We already know what my least favorite spot is. <laughs> Number <laughs> Def two. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. All right, what about yours? <sighs> All right, favorite taco. Honestly, I'll have to go with the salad here. Really? Yeah, I would say my favorite taco. It is, is different. Yeah. You know, the flavor is different yeah. for sure. It's, it's def definitely different. And I like all the condiments they add, the, the pickled jalapenos, pickled carrots, the charred onions. I love all that stuff. So that to me makes it a five. And. Um, Location wise, I'd probably say this is also my favorite location. Like you said, all the uh, it's open, like literally, you could fit like 100 cars in here, maybe yeah. you could, anybody could come and eat here. And yeah, a few little benches out here in the front, like yeah, they actually had a nice little uh outdoor dining yeah. area that's covered from the sun, yeah. And the, you know, Modesto gets hot, so this is perfect time to come and be outside and get some fresh air. It's cool, I like it so. That's what I think. And then you put Janae's customer service on top of that. Exactly. It's like, yeah, that's, you know, that's so all you need. You want to come back to this spot. The formula is great food, great customer service, and great location, right? Wouldn't you say that's like. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, obviously, if you're a business, maybe location you can't control too much. Mm -hmm. Good locations are already taken or they're expensive, but you can control your you customer still, service. Yeah, you can still make it a good experience for yeah. the client, make them feel welcome, yeah. make them feel you're getting the best. Of the best. Don't shout at him. Say, hey, I don't want you to film me. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you She just turned into a Russian lady. <laughs> you definitely don't want to see no that. No film me. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be shouting at people. Yeah, and shouting is not the way you talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sure already know that. So, without further ado, thank you again for watching. Please share this to another 209er <laughs> or another person, anybody you want. We appreciate every view, every comment, every subscriber, every subscriber, mm -hmm. and don't forget to follow us. Yeah, we know you guys are gonna comment. An IG at mm -hmm. IMV that eats. Mike Libu now. Mike and Chris on this on YouTube's on this side. Yeah, it's on this side. Right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and we know you guys are gonna comment. You guys love telling us we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you guys <laughs> love the tacos. You guys love saying. You guys don't know the good spots. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are really uh, about it. You guys are about that talk about life, man. I love it. You guys are serious. Yeah, tell us where to go. If we don't know it, tell us where to go yeah. then. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll go there. <laughs> we get we get yelled at in real life, and we get yelled at on our comments. <laughs> and it's all about that engagement. I guess it's a way to look at it. That lady was just engaging with us. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, guess yeah, uh, yeah. it's another way to see it. <laughs> and I engaged right that's, back. That's some real engagement. I gave there. her some good engagement too. <laughs> I think we're definitely gonna have to come back. Yeah, there's stuff. like a hundred taco trucks out here. Bro, every block was like <laughs> 10 taquerias, man. What the hell? Some... Right here, sitting already, yeah. I could see a, another marisco, marisco's place, a taqueria over here. <laughs> I got right here. Ronato, you got los... Somewhere over there was Tenison. another taqueria. Yeah. Man, you guys have so yeah. many. You guys are probably up, up to San Jose standards. Raza. Strong la, out here. La, la raza. Yeah. Ciao. See ya.